This video is brought to you by the Roll for Combat Actual Play Podcast and their Three Ring Adventure series. And by the Deck of Mini and their Big Bad Booklet series. Hello and welcome back to the Gallant Goblin. We're here in our new home getting set up and we got a package from WizKids today to kind of, I guess, sort of a housewarming to get us started. So I thought we'd open it up together here with you today. There's actually two big boxes. I've gone ahead and pre-cut the tapes. So you don't have to watch me do that. So let's go ahead and jump in and see what we've got. All right, oh, okay. This box has the same thing in each slot. Here we have the next set of WizKids Icons of the Realms pre-painted minis for Dungeons and Dragons. This is the Boneyard set featuring mostly undead creatures. I really don't know what's gonna be in this set because I haven't, I don't go spoil myself when they do a lot of the previews. I try to keep myself a little bit unspoiled, but let's take a look at the sides here. Oh yeah, we do have some skeletons and not just human skeletons this time. It's like we have like halfling skeletons and like they did with some of the uh, halfling uh, mind flayers that they had before. Oh, we've got a Tyrannosaurus Rex zombie, some specters. Some vampire spellcasters looking at the side of the box. This is another set that's coming out with 45 figures, and I believe it's due in March, though sometimes, especially with COVID going on, these release dates can move around a little bit. But right now, this set is scheduled for March, so we'll open this set up. We've got four bricks in this box over here, so hopefully they form a proper case, and we'll have one of everything to show you. So as soon as we finish filming this, I'm going to start opening these up so we can have a full set review for you with all the lore as soon as I possibly can. So that's my next step here. Let's see what's in the other box. Push that aside. And we'll start here. And along with Boneyard, of course, Every Icons of the Realm set comes with premium figures, and this set is coming with some Draco Liches. According to the box here, we have an adult green Draco Lich, so let's take a look at that. And we'll do separate videos. We'll do separate videos for these as well. All right. The annual tossing of the boxes. And here is our green Draco Lich. You can see a little bit over here. Ooh, all spiny. The, the scales are slossing off, sloughing off of it. You can see the skeleton underneath, some of the flesh. I'll just put it over here for a little camera so you can get a little bit of a sense of it. There you go. And yeah, it's a nice, probably young adult dragon, adolescent, with the new sizing of the WizKids dragons. This would probably be an adolescent. A young dragon. Very cool, very cool. It comes on, what looks to me like a huge base, but it has the line drawn for a large base, which is two by two, I believe. It's a little hard to tell without putting it down on a grid. But let's see what else we have over here. Move some of this out of the way. So I said it comes with a couple of Draco Liches. And here's our other one in a slightly larger box. This is the adult blue Draco Lich. The dragons that have pursued Let me get this out. Kind of cramped over here. The ones that have pursued everlasting life through Lichdom. Ooh. This one is impressive. Got some tape on it. still see some of the blue there. Get this out of the way a little bit. So there is our adult, or our, I guess, young blue Draco Lich with the lightning coming out of his mouth. You can see the, the blue sloshing off the back there. Oh, I love it. The bones sticking out. You can see the skeletal wings with the holes in them. Put it over here so you can get a little sense of it, a little close up. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, these are scary, cool creatures. We've had at least one other Draco Lich mini from WizKids in the Icons of the Realms line back in, oh gosh, I don't even know, Rage of Demons, I believe. And so this is our first Draco Lich in a long time. And I don't know, maybe five years. So 
Those are very cool. And we'll do full reviews of these so you can see them next to their living counterpart minis. Pretty soon, kind of see how they compare. Uh, they are the same size technically, although certainly the blue one looks bigger because of its pose. All right, I'm gonna put them off to the side over here. And let's see what else we've got. Now uh, let's do some of this over here. We've got, reaching in, this is our next line of the Icons of the Realms premium figures. This is wave five, I believe. I think it's scheduled for next month for February. So these are the best paint jobs you can get. Usually people get these for player character minis or very important NBCs in your adventures. Here we have a human ranger. Um, Oh, with a nice kind of leather coat, crossbow in hand, a female. Looks a little steampunky to me with the goggles. So if you wanted to use this for something like Eberron, I think that would work just fine. And this set should have 10 figures in it, so we'll see what they are. Here's our Elf Druid. Very cool spell effect in one hand. And I'm going to put these up here so we can see them a little bit. There's some reflections. It's a little hard to see through the plastic. And here was our ranger. You can see there. Hopefully you can see it okay. And we're gonna, of course, show you these a little bit better off, a little bit better uh, in our full review video. But I was saying there's 10 of these in the line, so hopefully we have one of each of them in here. Here's a cool little gnome wizard. That's my favorite always. That's kind of my go-to class when I'm playing a pickup game of D&D. I want to do a little gnome wizard. They're the most fun class to play. A little combination of fun-loving gnome who uh, maybe is a little bit careless with the way that they want to cast spells. Ooh, a very colorful uh, elf fighter with a flaming sword right there. Green cloak. A lot of these have the little translucent spell effects on them too, which I really like. When you're going to do premium figures, you might as well go all out and have a little spell effect on them. Another spell effect, this is our human wizard casting a little cone of fire there, a little fan of fire over there, you can kind of see there. Very cool, uh, what's it called? Uh, flaming hands, I'm forgetting the name of the spell now. <laughs> there you go. I'll remember it as soon as we finish filming the video here in a second. Burning hands, that's the one. And, oh, that's cool. Is that a monk? Oh, a human rogue with sort of a ice effect on the sword and a little curved dagger in the other hand. You can kind of see the sword, the ice sword there. Again, these are a little hard to see through the plastic, I know. And, ooh, our big next one. The Goliath Barbarian. There's usually one or two of the more minor races included in these premium sets. Otherwise, they tend to focus on the popular races like humans and um, dwarves and elves. And this one has lightning bolt coming down from behind. And a war pick in hand. Kind of see that there. Another cool one. All right, let's keep racing through this. Here is our yep, dwarf fighter, very classy dwarf fighter with the axe and the shield in their hand. It's a very cool one as well, very classic. High fantasy D&D. &D. I probably should be talking toward the mic instead of away from the mic. I'm still getting used to our little setup here that we have temporarily. Here's our halfling fighter with a very decorative helm on with some jewels on it. The jewel encrusted axe as well. That's another cool one. And one, two, three, four, five, six. So there should be one more in here, I think, if I'm counting correctly. Well, that might be in the corner. What else do we have over here? Oh, here are some premium are some of the promo figures for Boneyard. This is the Orc Skeleton. We'll show you this in more detail in a minute, but let's just go on a bit so and take a look. You can kind of see the pictures of the Orc Skeleton there. And when we do our full review, you can see the actual figure, but at least you can get a look at the picture of it. And the other Boneyard premium figure is a Cobalt Skeleton. So there's four included. That's really cool, Cobalt Skeletons. You can see them there. 
And usually these are available on dndmini.com or the WizKids store. If you spend a certain amount of money uh, to purchase your figures, they'll send you these for free, including your basket. So you can check that out at dndmini.com um, or WizKids store. And another big thing in this box, and I'm running out of room on my table to show you. I know a lot of people have been waiting for this. This is the adult blue dragon. You can kind of see here. The next line in their adult figure, adult dragon figures. I know a lot of folks are waiting for this one and the green one. Um, oh, it's very cool. It's going to go well with our Draco Lich, so we can show these next to each other. So we'll have this to show you really soon. Very cool figure. I love these adult, these new super large dragons from WizKids. Put this behind me. And here is our last um, premium figure. Thank you, Grady, for digging it out. This is our human wizard. Another cool spell effect with some wind off to the side. I think that's just holding up the little uh, sword there, the little uh, magical sword he's got propelling out there. And that's what we have for today. So we're going to dig in and give you this Boneyard review as soon as we possibly can here. Many thanks to VMuse and the team at WizKids Games for sending us all, all this stuff to review with you. I'm really looking forward to digging into it and sharing it with you soon. Be sure you're subscribed to the channel so you can see our full reviews of everything you've seen here today instead of having to look at it through the plastic. And many thanks to our sponsors for this video. First, the Roll for Combat Actual Play Podcast and their Three Ring Adventure series. Just one of several Pathfinder and Starfinder campaigns you can listen to on the Roll for Combat podcasting network. As you know, there's a lot of ways you can play an RPG, and you may have a preference about what kind of gameplay you want to listen to. The two big ongoing Roll for Combat campaigns right now are the Three Ring Adventure series and Agents of Edgewatch. If you like that deep role play and character building, I'd recommend checking out the Three Ring Adventure, but if you prefer a group that really flies through the story efficiently with no fluff and likes to focus on tactics and strategy, then you may like Agents of Edgewatch. They also have a number of other series available, including the Starfinder Dead Sons campaign, which is the one I'm starting to listen to now myself. So check them all out at RollForCombat.com. We also want to thank our long-term sponsor, the Deck of Mini and their Big Bad Booklet series. Each monthly book gives you a short adventure to run with your new gaming group with a new big bad each time. You get stat blocks and story hooks, original art, new mechanics, new minions, new layers, and more. This month, come meet Valai Axel, an ancient writhing sea monster devoted to the thrill of the hunt. Will you stop this eldritch being or be lured into the depths? Learn more and subscribe today, like we do, at BigBadBooklet.com. And many thanks to you for watching today. You can also find us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram for more previews, comparison pictures, live videos, and more. If you enjoyed this video, you can drop us a like by clicking that little thumbs up button down below. That helps us out a lot. For now, though, I hope you're doing well. Stay safe out there. Have fun. Love each other. And I'll see you next time at the Gallant Goblin. <laughs>